have behind me the new facelifted 2022 BMW X3 M40i with the six cylinder B58 engine. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around highlighting the first look that I have on this vehicle. All the differences that I noticed from the last year's 2021 model to the 2022 model. Before I get into the walk around, smash that like button on this video, help me out, subscribe to the channel for more BMW content, news and giveaways and all that good stuff. I'm gonna flip the camera around, get behind it and show you guys everything you need to know for the new 2022 X3 M40i. So the the first thing to note is this brand new Brooklyn gray metallic paint color. This was originally launched on the G80 and G82 M3 and M4. It has now been carried over on the lot of the M Sport models for the 2022 year. You can get this on the 30i, the M40i. You can also now get this on the 2 Series. I believe you can also get on the 3 Series and the 4 Series. So it's been popular. A lot of our cars with M Sport have been coming in with this new Brooklyn gray color. And I gotta say, it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, you do have these redesigned taillights. That's what everybody knows. Everybody knows from the public release that the car got new taillights, it got new headlights, it got a new grill. But I'm gonna show you guys some things that they don't release in the press releases. They don't tell you about, and you don't know until you see the car up close in person. What you'll see there is the actual comfort door access 2.0 going off. So when you get close to the car, the car automatically unlocks just like that. And when you walk away from the car, it automatically locks for you. Another feature now that it has full iDrive 7 is gonna be your remote engine start. So you triple click on the key fob, one, two, three, and the remote engine start is going to fire up for you, just like that. Now, of course, with the remote engine start, you gotta talk about the exhaust system. It has changed a little bit for this year. I'm just gonna turn it off so we can get a little bit of silence. So the exhaust system has changed. Last year, the hexagon tailpipes, as they call them, were attached to the bumper frame. Now on the 30i, they switched over to that same design and it looks like on the M40, these kind of got you know shrunk in a bit. They don't seem as wide. And now they're also detached from the bumper and only touching the muffler, which I actually appreciate on that. Of course, you got the redesigned rear bumper to go with the exhaust tips as well. The side vents here, that you know, fake vents, just aggressiveness that adds to the look of the vehicle. Car keeps unlocking, locking as I walk away and walk towards it. These wheels are now new for the 2022 model year. They last year they were in bicolor and now you can get them in this new bicolor, which is mainly black instead of the Surium gray bicolor. And then also 275 wide on the rear. I would have to double check my specs just to see if the tire size changed. I don't believe the tire size did change from this year, uh, from last year to this year. One thing I did notice on this side, you now have the little M logo in Chrome. So instead of being in Surium gray from last year, all the badging is done in Chrome. So the X3 at the back, this is now Chrome. And the M40i badge is now chrome, where on previous models, it always would have been in the Surium gray. The Surium gray would have matched the exhaust tailpipes, would have matched the badge, the wheels, the mirror caps, and the grill. Now this unit is packaged with premium enhanced package, as well as the high gloss black exterior content. So as you notice with the tailpipes, they were high gloss black. The mirror caps are black and talking about the mirror caps, they are now the M mirror cap. So they now have this additional M wing, the little M design there. So compared to from last year's, we did not have M mirror caps on the M340 and they were reserved only for the X3M. 2022 M40, I X3 now has the mirror caps done in high gloss black. So it also has the optional red M Sport brakes, but that's nothing new from last year. Now with the high gloss black kidney grills, you get the double slatted M grills here. So these are the exact same grills that you will see on M cars. M cars, well, everything except for the M3 and the M4 have kept this traditional double slatted kidney grill. Interesting, this is looks like it's gonna be the exact same one on an X3M. They just changed the little badge here. Instead of saying X3M, it just says M with two little chrome lines. And you can even see looking at from the top where you have that part in the grill and then the badge can just get changed out on the top. A lot more M features have moved over to the M40 model. Now you have the redesigned headlights, which everybody is probably already aware of from the press release that you saw. 
the full LED adoptional laser light headlights, not featured on this vehicle, but is now an option for it. Redesigned front bumper, the side vents are redesigned. And then I do notice that you have open air channels right into your radiators. I believe on the 30i, even with M Sport, these are still blocked off. So these are now opened up on the M40i. And then you have an additional going there for the brake cooling, which on the 30i, I believe is also blocked off as well. The 30i compared to the 40i also has active air vents behind this flap here, where it seems the M40i just stays straight open to the lower radiators. Now with the new 2022 and the new grills attaching in the center, you also have your 360 parking camera or your surround view system. That has been slightly changed from last year to this year. The system overall is pretty much the same. The biggest differences would be that it is now part of the premium enhanced package. So instead of having to get advanced driver's assistance or a $1,000 individual last year, you will now get every single enhanced car is gonna have that 360 parking camera, which just makes a lot more sense. Also on the inside, they updated the system. You no longer have to press and hold your button, your finger on the button to get it to park. You just click it like a normal full iDrive 7 system. Speaking about the inside now, you will notice this is the new Sensatec Decora Red interior. It is perforated Sensatec, which is a no charge option. Last year we had black leatherette and beige leatherette as no charge options. Well, although actually Vernasca leather was standard last year, a couple years ago, leatherette was available on the X3. This year, we're now back to Sansatec being standard and you can get four different options from it. So you're gonna get beige, black, the Stacora red or cognac interior that you can get at a no charge option before you move up to Vernasca leather or the Merino leather it is on the door panel. Harman Kardon is also reserved for the M40i's. If you got an enhanced package on a 30i, you'd be getting a Harman Kardon restriction because they're saving them for the premium engines. Another thing, that they don't really talk about is the fact that you have an M steering wheel on here. So this is the exact same steering wheel that you would get on an M3, an M4, an M5, an M8, all the M cars. The only difference is, is you don't have two little red buttons here for your M quick shift modes, but you get the gap here, you get the more embossed M logo instead of it being a plastic sticker, and you get the tri-color stitching on the steering wheel on the X3 M40i. So this steering wheel is directly pulled from all the M cars, just missing the two little M1 and M2 at the top of the steering wheel. The pedals and everything down here seem to be the exact same from last year. Everything else that changed seems to be in the center console. So we now have a larger display screen. It comes farther forward. You can see it's cutting away from the trim. Last year's infotainment screen, like the start of it was right at the back of the trim and you had full trim that went along. Now it is cut out and the screen is closer towards you. Also larger infotainment screen. This one isn't even maxing out. You can see the corner here. It does have what we call six U2 Live Cockpit Plus. So new standard gauge cluster for the X3 M40i where we're back to analog gauges with a digital display screen in the center there. If you go back to the Live Cockpit Professional, you'll get the full digital gauge cluster and the screen will maximize. Last year, we did have a different standard gauge cluster. It was analog gauges, but once you went to premium enhanced package, you have the Live Copper Professional. For 2022, the Live Copper Professional will only be an individual standalone feature for $1,200. Coming down, you have the new air vents, which are in line with the X5, the X6, the 3 Series, the 4 Series, and also the climate control buttons. Everything is in line with the other models and the radio control buttons where last year it used to be very different. Coming down, same tray, but you will notice no more wireless, wireless charging tray for the 2022 model year. And the only other difference is gonna be your drive control system. So your electronic transmission controller, your iDrive controller, it's now updated to the same panel on the X5, the three series and etc. Your push button start is down here. Last year was up here and they now have moved it down to here. Center console is the exact same from last year. Pretty much everything else is the exact same from last year, except for the fact that this has the Decor Red Sansa Tech interior, which was previously only available on the X4 with Vernasca leather. So it's nice that you can get red as a no charge option on the new X3 and Brooklyn gray on red seems to be a popular combination. This section for your rear climate control, two USB-C ports has stayed the exact same. And let's take a look at the trunk area. Still same privacy cover, nothing has changed back here. And you still have storage underneath down there. Your standard carpet mats from the factory. 
You also have the comfort access for your foot. So as long as your keys in your pocket, you wave your foot. Oh, no, no, embarrass me. And it's gonna close the door for you. All right, so that's everything you need to know about the 2022 X3 M40i. So to recap the differences, we have different tail lights, we have chrome badges, we have different tailpipes, we have different new colored wheels, we have M mirror caps on the mirrors, we have a different front kidney grill with the M40i getting the X3 M grill just with an M badge instead of X3 M. We have a whole different front bumper, different headlights and all that interior content with the different iDrive system, transmission controller, air conditioning vents and the M steering wheel on the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this BMW content of the new 2022 facelifted X3 M40i. If you guys made it all the way to the end, you gotta absolutely smash that like button. Help me out, help me grow on YouTube's platform. Subscribe to the channel for more BMW content. I also do a lot of giveaways, so check out my other channel for whatever I'm giving away this month because every other week, I'm just giving away new free BMW merchandise. And all you gotta do is drop a comment on that other video in order to win. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget that I am a client advisor in Toronto, Canada. So if you or anybody you know is in the marketplace for a BMW in Toronto, please feel free to reach out to me at my email email down below. This one is an unsold unit. So if you're looking for an X3 M40i, this is the very first one that we have. They're very hard to get at this moment. So hit me up at my email down below. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>